Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Rudiger Kunst with PD Verlag. And you were showing off, obviously, prototype, non-finished version of Matt Garrett's Steamship Company, which may be ready later in 2015, maybe not. It depends. Right now you have two boards, you're still, you're mixing ideas, you're trying to figure out the best way to do everything. We have yeah. two versions of the game. It's a new game for McGill's for two to six players. Okay. We are shareholders of companies, six historical uh, shipping companies, okay. and we can buy shares of them and have benefits for the game. Okay. The player can act buying shares. Each share, yeah, each company have ten shares. Each share counts the same for uh, development, for, uh, for, for dividend, for leadership, but the prices are different. For the first share you pay 500, for the last you pay 2,500. Okay. So it's important often to buy early to have uh, the cheap papers, but if you want to have all of them, so you all, you, no, sorry. It's impossible, I'm it's sure, impossible, to, to yeah. do all that, yes. Okay. The player acts, they can raise up their industry. Industry is important to get more money if they transport or build ships. Okay. So shipbuilding, the player can build ships, but they build the ships for the company. So for example, I reach a score of 28, the new area begins. This will be flipped, the prices of the goods on the, on the plan will change. Okay. In the round before, you pay, get 300 for passengers and 300 for goods. Now you only get 200 for passengers. It's different every game. The prices you can, can go to between 200 and 300. It's of the kind of cargo you have. So the game is going to last these this this period of time, period which again time, is different. Yes. We start in 1850 and we end in 1900. Okay. And what are we trying to do? Are we trying to just make the most money? Are we trying to we deliver want to, the most? We need only need money to buy shares. So we, we can get a little bit little points by money and by industry, but the most points you get by the shares. At the end of the game, the games end if one company reaches the, the score of 50. Okay. Then the game, will, the last round will be finished, and then the play, player, uh, player get the victory points. For example, you have fi uh, a company share for a company that have 50 points. Each share have five points. If they have, the company has, for example, 35 points, the share is only three points. So it's important to have shares of the companies with more victory points. Okay. So, in the game, you buy a ship, and you produce a ship, and the, oh, the director of a company must buy the ship. But you get the money, the player gets the money, and the director of the company plays the new ship. If the new area starts, the new ships are available, they are bigger. Also, you get no new goods on the plan. For example, I produce for the red company the ship. I can, in this moment, I must choose which kind of resource the ship should transport. If I place it in one area, it stays there. Never it will go away normally. Now, I, for example, I say this ship will produce, uh, transport passengers. There are no free passengers in the area, only one good. But new ships can take the uh, goods and the passengers from old ships. So now the new ship take this passenger and this passenger. These ships have no passengers left in the area, so they go away in adjacent in different um, regions. If they don't find a resource, they go out of the game. Okay? This is important. Shipbuilding more ships are very good for the companies because they get more money and victory points. For that, the player can choose to transport the goods. The, the cargo. For example, the, the line can produce. If a li the line produce, I, I choose the line which should transport, and all the cargos will be transport. So if, if I have 
three ships with uh, three goods, the company transport three goods. The company get the money of the goods and victory points. Per, per good, one victory point. So, for example, I the red company have two ships with three goods and we have for three passengers, the company gets 600 and three victory points. The player get for each good, uh, for each cargo, 100. But only if I have enough core to transport. So it's important to raise up the industry before to uh, produce uh, enough, enough core to transport, uh, get the money for the transport. If a company has transport the, the line, it only can transport again if two other companies do the same. Then they go out and they can choose again. Also, it's possible to say a region transport. That means all chips in this area will transport. So more companies get money, more companies get victory points, and the player who chooses action also get money. That's for region and also, like the others, only if the other plays, they go out and the region can do this again. The last kind of transport is a cargo transport. I choose one kind of resource in an area. It's not the same, so it's possible to transport in the same area. Now, both ships will transport. Okay. Also, the company got money, the company got victory points, but they get, get the victory point twice, and the people, as a player, get uh, money too. Okay. The, at the end of the game, you get victory points for the sheets. The difference uh, between both versions are, in the one version, you act on the rondelle. Mm -hmm. Not the player act, the company acts. Okay. Also, in this version, you have helpers, and you have counters. You can see them now. Don't, you can, don't see them now. They are not placed. But it's a difference bet between here. In this version, a player acts. A player acts if you have a sheet of the company. If you buy a sheet of the company, you choose, you pay the price, the, and choose one of the sheets. Each sheet is an action. And the player can only make the action if he has a sheet to do it. Okay. So sometimes I But for that particular company as well? Only, I only choose the action, not for the company. Okay. The, each company at the beginning of this game have all sheets. Right. And so all actions. So sometimes I buy a sheet from a company. I do, don't want to have the sheet, but I want the action. Right. And I only can play the, the action if I have the sheet. And that's a different because both versions. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so these are now, this is, it's not going to be two games in one box, so you're trying to decide... It will be, in, in Essen, uh, we hope that we will have in Essen one game. Okay. But we don't know exactly which game we will have. It's okay. for two to six players, but more we don't know <laughs> in the moment. That's right, we have a title, a box size. That's right, and this. Well, I mean, it, it's uh, very interesting, just the action selection in both. So it could be a double-sided board, and you do. It's do both. very hard to decide because of the cargo. You do something good for other players, and normally you don't want it. But maybe you have sheets from both companies. It's good for you yes. because you do both with one action. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, it's an interesting overview. I mean, it's sort of. I mean, this is a real dilemma all the time for designers in terms of they get to often present, here's my one version of the game, and there's all these other things that sort of fall off in the meantime of course, for yes. different reasons. Some people may see it and say, I really want this, I really want this. You don't know, but... Mac stands for the rondelle, so right. it's very interesting to make games with rondelle and has a lot of options. But also it's very interesting to buy the sheets with the actions. Right. It's a more dilemma, because you, when, if you... you one time you must take on the get cards again to play them again, and which card you want to play. If you play it fast, you have the uh, first you have the problem that you must l wait a long time to play the card again. And so the dilemma is in this version is very hard too. Okay. 
Huh. We will well, see. It'll be interesting to see what happens here uh, when this comes out, which may or may not be this year. I hope so. It all depends. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for the overview.